All right, Jesse, I'm fire. I got some sparring footage from Nate Diaz, dog, and it is definitive. I'm going to tell you exactly what I think is going to happen in this fight now because it's, I don't know, man. Listen, everybody has an opinion on this fight. Is Jake, oh, man, Nate's going to get worked. Oh, Jake is not ready for Nate Diaz. Well, guess what? After you watch this footage, I think I'm going to be able to tell you what's probably going to happen in this in this fight. And you will understand why when you watch it. He's, he's sparring against, uh, what's this guy's name? Esquiva. I'm murdering that, dude. Falco. I apologize. He's a 30-1 and professional boxer. And there is enough footage in this sparring match for you to be like, oh, shit. Nate's going to get his, he's going to get worked. Or maybe, damn, Jake's in trouble. And I'm going to tell you what I think. And, uh, and I'll tell you exactly why. And then also... Uh, and by the way, we're all going to be at this fight. If you are going to also be at this fight, you can look out for us because I've got a big ass crew going to the fight and uh, it's going to be a good time. We got three separate sections that, that uh, we're going to be sitting in. We got like fifth row, front row, front row. It's going to be awesome. Anyway, so uh, also I'm going to talk about this thing that I saw uh, because I can't help myself. It's not combat sports related, but uh, knowing my audience, I think you're going to be interested because there's a story. Uh, I don't know if you guys know who Kiki Palmer is, and you may already know what I'm talking about. Kiki Palmer, this uh, apparently like pretty hot actress uh, who went to an Usher concert. She just had a baby. She has a boyfriend, and she went to an Usher concert, and this video went viral of her getting serenaded by Usher, and when she turns around, she's wearing a see-through thong G-string thing, and her boyfriend did not like that, and he said something about it on Twitter, and then Twitterverse went insane, and they were like, oh my God, he's so insecure. He's so insecure. Don't date a dime if you can't handle her showing her cheeks to the world. And other people were like, she disrespected him. She disrespected him. And since I'm married to a chick that's way hotter than Kiki Palmer, I'm going to tell you my thoughts on it. You know, would I be like, damn, don't you wish you could touch those cheeks? Or would I be, you know, the other side be like, she just disrespected me, dude. I'm going to tell you, you're not going to know. You're not going to know. So basically my point is, I'll tell you what I would have done if Gabrielle did exactly what Kiki Palmer did uh, in the second half of this video. And I'm really looking forward to talking about that. Not going to lie. Really looking forward to that part. All right, so also, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do that. I would appreciate it very much. That is all I ask. If you enjoy my content, please just click subscribe. I don't care if you don't subscribe to other channels. I get it. I know people are like, dude, I just don't subscribe to channels. I know. And YouTube actually doesn't even like do anything if you subscribe. They're going to show you my stuff if you watch it. They're going to not show it to you if you don't. But please just subscribe because it helps me know I'm doing a good job and I appreciate it. Also, I need to thank the sponsor of this video, Yo Kratom. This is the best source of Kratom on the internet. By far the least expensive. It'll get to you in two days and it is the bomb. It is literally one-fifth the price if you're buying it in the store. You will literally never buy it in the store ever again. Ever again. Yo Kratom.com, rock and roll. All right, so let's start. Let's start right now with the footage of Nate Diaz throwing down, and then we'll talk about it. Woo-wee! Look at this. All right, so what are we looking at? All right, so that's Nate, obviously, in the white. Okay. Ooh, good shot from Nate. Looking good, looking good. Walking him down. Right? Nate just walking him down, walking him down, walking him down. Slapping at him, slapping at him, slapping, hits him on the break. Just walking him down, walking him down. Rabbit punches, rabbit punches, rabbit punches, rabbit punches. And then every once in a while, he'll slip a big one in like that. You know? So here's the deal, dude. I'm going to tell you right now. I think Jake's in trouble, dude. I think Jake's in trouble. And I'm going to go back to that video in a second. I think Jake is in trouble because what I see right there is you could tell from the body language that is uh, th th they've done a lot of rounds. That's not like a one round fight. And what Nate is doing is he's walking him down, 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 walking him down. And here's the deal, dude. Nate fighting Nate in the UFC. At least there's like other things you can do. Like if you really think about how Nate fights, does he throw a lot of kicks? No. Not at all. Do you see Nate having to grapple very often? Not really, you know? Not really. I think MMA, I mean, Jake, uh, well, I'm not even going to bring that up. I'm just going to say this. Nate boxes in UFC a lot. It's not the like traditional boxing you're used to seeing. 
And so I understand why people are like, dude, Jake's going to light him up because I kind of thought that, to be perfectly honest with you. If you're like, just pure boxing, Jake's going to light him up. But watching that video right there, I immediately was like, oh man, Jake's in trouble, dude. Jake is in trouble because Jake got tired. Jake got tired in both of his last two fights, right? Now, not exhausted or anything, but tired. You know, like he got tired. Now, which of the two guys, Tommy Anderson Silva, which of them represented a challenge where they just walked him down the entire fight? Just walked him down, walked him down, walked him down. Like if you, like if you don't understand what that means, it means that like no matter what you do, okay? Like there's no amount of movement you can make. There's no amount of footwork. He's gonna be standing in front of you all the time. He's not scared of you throwing punches at him. He can eat your punches. He can roll with them really well. He's really, really long. And so he's standing in front of you like this target. It's like you have to throw at him or else he's just going to throw at you. And it's just constant, 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 constant pressure. And in the first few rounds, like every Nate Diaz fight, he's going to get touched. Like Nate's going to get beat. Like he's, I guarantee you Jake wins the first round. I mean, I guarantee. I think very likely that Jake wins the first two, three rounds. And then in the fourth round, Nate's still going to be coming forward. Jake's going to start slowing down a little bit. And you're going to see he's going to be like, Jesus, man, this guy is a zombie. It's like, yes, he is a zombie. And you got another four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten rounds. You got another 30 minutes in there with him walking you down like this. 30. Okay. You want to know what I did today? Because I'm, fight, I'm fighting in the IBJJF Austin Open on Saturday. So what I did today is I went and did a sauna, 45-minute infrared sauna to make sure that my arms are cool. And then I did a two-and-a-half-minute cryotherapy where I was in negative 166-degree weather or temperature for two-and-a-half minutes, okay? Negative 166 degrees is what you're in, okay? You go like this. It's like there's a thing that's counting it down and you go and you blow at it and it looks like you're a dragon. It's like you can't see anything. It's so cold that when you breathe, it goes. It envelops anything that you can see in smoke. You can't see the clock anymore, but it's counting down from two and a half minutes and you're in there. It's so cold. Right. And so you're looking and it's like time slows down. Right. And you're like, you know, in my mind, I had a song on in there. I was like. You know, I'm a rock, son. I'm a rock, dog. I'm a rock. I'm ignoring how cold I am. Ignoring how cold I am. Ignoring how cold I look up. It's it's 15 seconds, you know, has gone by. I'm like, Jesus. You know, I mean, I'm not going to punk out, but it hurts. When you get tired in there and Nate is still standing right in front of you, you hit him with your best shots. You've thrown your best shots. You know, you cannot throw punches like you just did. Like, you're not, you can't hit him as hard as you did in the last couple rounds. And you look, you're like, seven more rounds? And then you start to think, you're like, have I ever seen him tired? And it's like, Jesus, he never get... And then your brain starts working against you. You're like, dude, maybe he, maybe he is going to beat me. So I think that when you get into the later rounds, I think you're going to see Nate, you know, that pitter-patter, pitter-patter. And when you really look at that dude, when you see him throw... Let me show you this again, dude. Okay, what I want you to watch is like... Because, you know, like he throws these like kind of slap hooks and you're like, what is that? The thing is, he's not trying to hurt you with those. Right, he's trying to make you think about him, and then you watch that big cross these other, and then the other one that he throws on the break. There's heat on those, dude. There's real heat on those ones. He doesn't need to throw heat on everything. Okay, you can't just let him slap you around. You still have to block them. But if you get used to him, blow, 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 and then when the boom one comes, he's a trap. Nate is a trap. He's sitting right in front of you all the time. You want to swing at him, and guess what, dude? Watch this. All right, so this is like the whole entire clip from the start. Boom. He's like, just keep throwing at me, dude. And then look, he's like, slap, slap. And then right here on the break, boom, big shot, dude. He just walks him down the whole entire time. He's just walking him down, rabbit punches, rabbit punches, rabbit punches. Walk him down, walk him down, boom. And then watch this, boom, big shot. Dude, let's go. I'm saying, dude, I'm saying this is going to be a much better fight than people think. I'm so excited that we're going. Stop. God. All day, these telemarketers, man. Leave me alone. Good God. All right, now let's switch gears. Uh, and I want to show you this. All right. So, 
let's just switch gears a little bit and let's talk about Kiki Palmer and Usher, all right? So Kiki Palmer, like I said, is an actress, right? And uh, this is about her boyfriend getting mad. Now that's her and that is Usher, okay? So she just had a baby and she has a boyfriend, okay? Just had a baby and she has a boyfriend. Now, apparently her boyfriend was not aware of what her outfit was going to be because he really didn't like it when he saw it online. So let's watch this 38 second video and then I'm going to tell you what I would have thought in the event that this was Gabrielle, right? She's out with her girls. I didn't see what she was wearing. This goes viral. And then it's like, hey, Jess, you know, do I tweet about it? Am I mad or am I like, what's up? Yeah, you like that, don't you? You like my girl, don't you? Dog, you wish you could touch that, but you can't. Maybe I would say that. We'll see. Let's watch. Oh, she she hugged him. And now he's going to serenade her. Let me just pause right there. She can sing. I'm going to give her that, dude. She can def she can sing. L listen to that again real quick cuz I'm going to give her props right here. She can sing, dude. All right, so everybody got real, or he got real mad about that. He did not like that one bit. And so he tweeted, you're a mother though, that outfit, and people went crazy. So Jesse, what would you have done though? Like hypothetically, you know, hypothetically, if, if that was Gabrielle, what would you have done? And that you guys, she just had your baby. Um, I think my tweet would have read, have fun raising that kid by yourself, you f <laughs> Okay? I'd clip her in two seconds. Okay? In two, two seconds, I would clip her. Okay? Two seconds. Clipped. Bye. Good luck. Okay? And it has nothing to do with her outfit. I don't give a sh about the outfit. I don't care about the outfit, dude. You, you know, I mean, I would... <laughs> she would never wear that. I would never marry a girl who would wear that. Okay? Okay, bottom line, I would never marry a girl the way, unless I was there. You can't wear that outfit without me there. Maybe if I was there, probably not, but maybe, you know. There was a Halloween one year where, you know, like when we were just like together, we hadn't gotten married yet, where she wore like lace underwear and a lace bra and, a, and wings, and she was like an angel for Halloween. And I was standing right next to her, Diesel, just like, what's up? Nonetheless, uh, that was before we had kids and that was before we were married. And anyway, it's irrelevant because I was there, right? I wouldn't, I, like, if she wore that going to an Usher concert, I don't know because it's irrelevant. That's not why I'd be mad. Let's run through this one more time. Jesse, you would make her raise the kid alone? I mean, listen, I would help raise the kid, but I would not be together with her because why? Is it the outfit? Or is it her literally saying to the entire world, like, oh my God, if Usher would let me, I would ride his Johnson until he couldn't even move. You want to go public like this with another dude? Okay. You, you want it's like, it's, it's honestly to me, this shit is worse than if she got wasted in Vegas and accidentally hooked up with a dude. Seriously. Like this is more disrespectful than if she accidentally, like, you know, like, Oh my God, blah, blah, blah. And she landed on somebody's dick. That would be less disrespectful to me than this dude. Like, you're getting serenaded by Usher on camera. You know this is going to go viral. And you did this? You're my girl? And you treated him like this? Some other dude like, oh. And that's, they didn't even show you that part. After that, so after the part where it cut off, she does this little twirl. And she's like, oh, my God, girls. <laughs> With her girls. I'd clip her in a fucking heartbeat. One second. Clipped. Okay? Clipped. That would have been the last moment of our relationship forever. There'd be no talking me back into it ever. Like the, none, zero. I would never, you would never get me back. Never. Okay. Like I said, oh my God, I got drunk. Like, I mean, you know, she got drunk and banged another dude. That's different. But like she got wasted and some dude, you know, there's like a video of some guy like kind of talking in her ears. And they like, 
made out, like blacked out. Like I would make her earn it. I would ruin her for months, you know, make her beg me. And then I'd probably take her back. This shit gone, dude. Forever. Forever. Name that movie. Let's watch it again. This is in front of the whole world, dude. The entire world. Oh, she initiates contact. Oh my God, I just, just let me ride on you while you sing to me, Usher. Ooh. Ooh. If only, if only I can have you. For, can I, can I share this, this thing with you? Oh, I hope I'm making you so, just, and look at this, Usher, look at me, look at me, fucking clipped in a millisecond, dude, bye, bye, you know, oh my god, you're so insecure, you're so insecure, dude, you shouldn't be with a hot girl if you can't handle it, shut the, f I don't understand people anymore, I really don't. And who cares about the outfit? How the hell is the outfit the problem? I don't get it. I don't understand, dude. How is the outfit the problem? The outfit? You can see her cheeks. Who cares about that, dude? She just signaled to the whole world that given the opportunity, she would love to just roll around naked with a famous singer. Like, okay, like whether that's true or not, it, like, you know, it's like if you... If you Unless you're delusional, obviously you know that like a girl like look at Usher and be like, oh my gosh, <laughs> he really is hot. There's a huge difference between just like kind of like subliminally knowing that like obviously girls can be attracted to other people and her thinking it's cool when she's your girl to roll up and then put his legs in between her legs and then she's like, ooh, 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 ooh clipped. Fucking one second. Peace. That is why I take on that, dude. Okay? That's my take on that. Who cares about her outfit? Clipped in one fucking second. Bye. Peace, peace, peace.